Have you found a pen so I can autograph that picture? Mm -hmm. I got it from Tino. You can keep it. If you could have it say, To Fatima, that'd be great. To Fatima. With the PH. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Oh, wow, that's kind of a... Anything else? Weird picture. I'll let you get back to your writing. Remember, if it's juicy, I want to know about it. Who carries around uh, pictures of themselves anyway? Well, I guess she is a minor celebrity. Let's see if Mr. Engineer is here. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. I talked to you before, very briefly. Yeah. You're not the one who pulled the emergency brake, are you? No. no. Good, because if you were, I'd have to come back there and throttle you. Old as this train is, it's a wonder it stayed on the tracks. So you have no idea who threw the brake? Like I just said, if I did, I'd be back there tanning their hide. Now, if you don't mind, I gotta get back to work. Doing what? The train's not moving. I guess he's making sure it's okay. Doing upkeep, that sort of thing, yes. Yes, that makes sense. Hey, Nancy. Hey, it's Frank. And Joe. There you are. We've been looking for you. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break? Hey, that was the result of good old-fashioned detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. Guys, uh, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, what's going on? Well, it turns out that a grandchild of Jake's engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner. Comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. Yeah? Ah, and you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Mm-hmm. Cheeseburger. The thing oh. is, the owner of the diner wouldn't agree to point the guy out unless one of us fills in for a short-order cook. He's got to go home and wait for the cable guy or something. And since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, guess who got the job? Frank? Way to go, Joe. Yeah. Hey, I can boil water. It's just that when it's got things floating in it, I get confused. Speaking of confused, get this. <laughs> Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's mine is somewhere right here in Copper Gorge, so he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even as we speak. Like that bumblebrain's gonna find anything. Sounds like now might be a good time to do some serious poking around on the train. Good, Let's good, talk. good. Hey, I better get going. Wish me luck. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. <laughs> he likes his cheeseburgers, apparently. All right. Get that autograph? Got something better. An autographed picture. Oh! What? Dang! She spelled my name right and everything. Well, Go ahead, she, little missy. She is a Have writer. Have a go with that truck. Whatever's inside, it's all yours. Cool. Thanks, Fatima. What fits here? Uh, Nancy. Do, 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 do. Oh, but I don't know what I'm supposed to use to open this. Which is why Frank and Joe just showed up to tell us, hey... Oh, she's locking up that picture, I think. Welcome back. Oh. It was fun talking to you. Be right here if you got any questions. Okay, now I confused myself. Well, in any case, Frank and Joe told us that the train is empty, so we're going to go on the train and explore. Yep. And hopefully, our exploring will help us find something that helps us open the trunk. Now, actually, no. Hold on a second. See the cemetery? Yes. You startled me. Do you work here? I do. Are you looking for someone? Uh, yes. Camille Hurley. She died back in the 1800s. Ah, Camille. Beautiful crypt. Wonderful view. Good drainage. Whoever buries her must have loved her very much. May I go inside it? You may. Creepy. Unfortunately, you can't. Why not? I accidentally dropped the key down the grate that's in front of the crypt. If you can retrieve it, you can keep it. I'm having another one made. But if you do go into the crypt, just remember, you won't be alone. Okay, creepy crypt creeper. Wait, crypt well, keeper. The key. I just need to find something that key will stick to. Like taffy. Ha ha! Excellent! Gotcha! So now we have the key to the crypt. Let's see what's inside. And this is important, the six slug. You're going to need that for your exploring on the train. That's why you needed to come inside the crypt. 
do 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 and you can see these are the color combinations so for silver it's that uh for uh au that must be gold that's that for copper which is cu cu p b that's lead cu that's lead that's right and didn't that note say something about lead being the key to open what's closed lead is the key pb, PB. is lead let me write this down i figured it out okay so lead is red, green, blue, orange, yellow, purple. Great! Oh, man. Actually, let me write down copper. See you. Seeing as I can look at copper. Uh, green, red, purple, yellow, orange, blue. Anything else I can look at? PB. Can't look at zinc, nickel, iron. And this is... Hmm, this indentation looks familiar. Copper, huh? Copper, okay, so I just looked that up right now. Green. Red. Purple. Yellow. Orange. And blue. Yay, and that opens the grave. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been creepy. But I found another uh, a gem. Yay! Do I have all the gemstones now? Anything else I can look In at? In the letter he wrote to his niece, Jake said she should go to Camille's grave and let Camille's goodness rub off on her. Rub as in rubbing, maybe? Hmm. If there's a hidden message here, I'll never find it at this rate. Okay, so that's Nancy's clue. You're going to have to do rubbings on each of these four pillars. Maybe making a rubbing would help. But I'm going to need some paper in order to do a rubbing. So, I guess that's everything I can do here in the crypt, guarded by the creepy, creepy guy. So it's back to the train. Do, 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 do. Back to the train, back to the train. And first off, what am I going to do first? I'm going to play Campdown Races. That's what I'm going to do first. Now that John's not gone, I can play it. I mean, now that John is gone, I can play on the piano! Yay, playing piano! Which one is Camp Town Ladies? Ah, uh, here it is. Okay. A G E E. Yay! And that gives me this. A spyglass. I bet it's the one I need for Jake's projector. It's the amber spyglass. Ah, oh, wait a minute. No, that's that's not Nancy Drew. That's something else. Well, in any case, that's awesome. Okay, next is Tino's car. Where we can check out the statue. Now that Tino's gone. Okay. Nancy's taking some carbide. Good for her. Ha 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 ha. Taking stuff while Tino is not there. And now that we've got the slug from the crypt, that means we can solve uh, this puzzle. Let me see. One, two, three, four. So we need the bell and the eagle. And the bell is 12 and the eagle is 2. Hmm. So let me think about this. Actually, no, wait. Never mind. Doesn't work. Can't do it yet. Nope. Sorry for wasting everybody's time. But we need to go to Fatima's, or Fatima's. I keep forgetting how to pronounce her name. You go to Fatima, I didn't open up the uh, thing. I didn't open up Jake's trunk. Even when I made a big point that lead is the key. Now that I know what the key is, I can open up the trunk. Do, 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 do. Something fits in here. 